Half of the human populace has a vagina. A fourth of the world bleeds. But, the female sex organs have for some time been misjudged, disregarded, or disgraced. Sex instruction classes in the school show almost no sexual well-being, when they do, it's probably tangled in deception. Indeed, even the use of vagina is a phonetic blunder, what we typically mean is the vulva. And as a women's activist clinician, Harriet Lerner expressed, what isn't named doesn't exist. Looking at everything from the hymen to menopause, creator Lynn Enright set out to unravel certainty from man-centric fiction while likewise offering her accounts of womanhood. This rundown doesn't generally introduce clear answers because even today, the greater part of the clinical exploration accessible depends on investigations of men, by men. All things considered, they show us how to reacquaint ourselves with the female life systems and uncover how ladies' associations with their bodies have been impacted and twisted by culture and society from the beginning of time. What's more, simply a fast disclaimer before we start, Chapter 3 portrays an episode of rape. Chapter 1, Sex Training Educational Programs Far and Wide Are Imperfect, Which Can Prompt Desperate Outcomes. In the Middle Ages, a significant number of the huge number of ladies slaughtered in the European and American witch preliminaries were birthing specialists. They were executed for giving contraception, premature birth care, and sexual well-being data to ladies. What's more, with a male overwhelmed clinical calling, female healers were viewed as a danger to male-centric frameworks. Thinking about ladies' well-being and sexuality has consistently been intrusive. The field of medication has as of late opened up to incorporate ladies, yet there is as yet an extreme absence of examination on female sexual well-being. The creator found that even a basic Google search regularly demonstrated outcomes bound with untruths, fantasies, and mistruths. So in any event, when ladies are really taught on their sexual well-being, the vast majority of what they think they know probably won't be valid. Take one 2016 investigation of 1,000 British ladies for instance. 40% couldn't accurately recognize the vagina, and 60% couldn't distinguish the vulva. Obliviousness can be unsafe. If a lady doesn't have a clue what a typical vulva resembles because she doesn't have the foggiest idea what the vulva is, how might she know about any conceivably risky changes? Right now. Nations that engage in sexual relations training programs in schools will in general zero in on contraception. This revolves around the male climax, showing just how to manage its aftermath. Lucy Emerson, the overseer of the UK's Sex Education Forum, considers this the period, pills, and pregnancy approach. As per Emerson, the condition of sex instruction in English schools is inauspicious. She appraises that just around 1 out of 15 schools show the subject in a sex-positive way, examining both female and male joy with precise exercises on life systems. Be that as it may, this is typical because of the activities of one especially devoted instructor or well-being specialist, not a countrywide strategy. Also, in the U.S., the condition of sex schooling is far more terrible. Just 13 of the 50 states even require sex training to be therapeutically precise. Sex schooling ought to be intensive and intricate, opening up the conversation about assent, sex jobs, LGBTQ plus sex and connections, ripeness, and ladies' pleasure. So does a model of such an educational plan exist? It does. In the Netherlands, sex schooling is sex positive. Kids start finding out about connections, their life structures, and how to guard their bodies at age 4. Afterward, understudies likewise find out about delight and balance, just as conceptive well-being. As a result of this methodology, youngsters are allegedly having intercourse later. The nation's pregnancy rate is multiple times lower than in the US and multiple times lower than in the UK. Furthermore, an examination that took a gander at the early sexual encounters of 400 American and Dutch ladies from comparable foundations demonstrated that American ladies are bound to feel forced into having intercourse unexpectedly, while Dutch ladies are bound to initially be in an aware and adoring relationship. Chapter 2, 
We should find out about our sex organs to battle boundless falsehood about ladies' well-being and sexuality. So what precisely is the vulva? Generally mislabeled as the vagina, the vulva involves the clitoris, the mons pubis, the inward and external labia, and the vaginal and urethral openings. Numerous ladies are uninformed of this distinction, or they'll state vagina since it's more normal. Indeed, even the creator used a state vagina rather than vulva since she felt the last was only excessively hypercritical. Yet, she re-evaluated her eradication of the word. She concluded that utilizing vagina instead of vulva decreased the entirety of a lady's sexuality to an opening. Women's activist therapist Harriet Lerner alluded to this as clairvoyant genital mutilation. For a considerable lot of us, a retraining is essential. How about we start with the external sex organs? Inside the vulva, the mons pubis is the mass of greasy tissue covering the pubic bone. Hair develops on the mons pubis, external labia, and butt. The internal labia are bare, shrouded in a bodily fluid layer, and frequently uneven. Numerous ladies are hesitant about the length of their labia, however, a 2018 Swiss investigation of ladies matured 15 to 84 indicated that the length of inward labia went enormously, from 2 to 10 centimeters. The clitoris, which will be investigated in detail later, is the main organ in the human body whose sole capacity is to give sexual joy and excitement. The vagina isn't an opening, it's a solid cylinder with two dividers that press against one another and can extend monstrously. It is encased and self-cleaning. The Bartholin's organs are on one side of the vaginal opening, during excitement, they may deliver liquid into the vagina. The skein's organs are situated at the launch of the urethra. A few ladies produce liquid hair and in this way discharge, or spurt, when they climax. The internal sex organs incorporate the uterus, or the belly, an organ the size of a little pear. Like the vagina, it has groundbreaking solid dividers that press against one another. During pregnancy, they extend significantly. The cervix is the piece of the uterus that reaches out into the vagina. Its opening is a little opening, through which feminine blood or fundamental liquid can pass. It expands to permit an infant to go through the uterus to the vagina. On either side of the uterus are the ovaries, two almond-sized balls that store and develop eggs just as produce hormones that control the period. At the point when an egg is delivered from an ovary, it goes through the fallopian tube. Here, it may meet a sperm, become treated, and travel to the uterus. If not, it breaks down. Chapter 3, The Deception of the Hymen Weakens Ladies As an adolescent, the creator was baffled with her vagina. She couldn't embed a tampon, even though she'd been trained that she had a defensive hymen covering her vaginal opening, it didn't feel right. The possibility of requesting that her primary care physician investigate her vagina felt incomprehensible. She lived in Ireland, a Catholic nation that wouldn't legitimize premature birth for an additional 20 years, a nation that saw ladies' sexuality as something despicable. She stayed uninformed about her body and kept away from actual closeness all through her adolescence. At that point, when she was 19, she nodded off alcoholic at a gathering and was explicitly attacked. She woke up with her jeans loaded with blood and the acknowledgement that she'd been entered unexpectedly, savagely, and without assent. After 15 years, she doesn't genuinely have the foggiest idea of what the physiology of her vagina was before the attack. Yet, she realizes that this obliviousness about her body implied she had little self-rule. We are educated since the beginning that the hymen is related to female immaculateness. It's envisioned as a sheath securing the launch of the vagina. Yet, this is bogus. While they do shift from lady to lady, hymens are not tight, pierceable films. The hymen comprised of slight folds of mucus film that regularly structure a bow-molded crown around the vaginal opening. For a few, it shapes a ring. Less frequently, there's a thicker film. This profoundly strange flawless hymen looks more like the legendary straightforward seal. It tends to be perilous, requiring careful intercession. What's more, a few ladies don't have hymens by any means. 
The creator accepts that because the hymen has no organic capacity, it's been made into an image of virginity around the globe, some portion of a plan to control female sexuality. A few societies, for instance, place additional accentuation on a lady's virginity as a wear to be passed from family to family. On the off chance that a lady doesn't see upon her wedding night, she's avoided, disgraced, and at times, killed for her apparent contamination. Her family may likewise be excluded. Hence, counterfeit hymens containing color or creature blood are sold on the web. They're intended to blast during sex. Numerous centers in the Middle East and around the globe, including the UK, likewise perform tasks that can cause it to appear as though a lady's hymen has been broken during intercourse and cause her to drain. In the following section, we will investigate another piece of the female life structures that has been dependent upon mistakes established in sexism, the clitoris. Chapter 4, In a general public that disheartens ladies' pleasure, the clitoris has for quite some time been dismissed or severely disposed of. The clitoris is frequently precluded in sex schooling homerooms and has been gotten over by researchers as a silly subject of examination. Subsequently, numerous ladies don't think about the sex organ that gives them sexual joy. Also, the clitoris has been exposed to viciousness around the globe. A huge number of ladies had for quite some time known about their clitoris, however, it was just given its logical name in the 17th century. It took an additional 200 years for the internal and external clitoris to be drawn extensively, with its obvious glands and clitoral hood and the pole underneath the vulva's tissue that split into two legs, or cura. Quick forward to 1993, when Australia's first female urologist Helen O'Connell made a huge revelation. She revealed that our comprehension of the clitoris had been off base, it was in reality a whole lot bigger than we had suspected. This late disclosure generally boils down to social variables. O'Connell was roused to investigate the clitoris when she understood that additional consideration was given to secure male sexual capacity while eliminating the prostate. In any case, ladies haven't managed the cost of a similar consideration during a pelvic medical procedure. It was a speculating game. No male specialist had thought enough about female sexual well-being to explore the blood and nerve flexibly of the clitoris how they had for the prostate. Until O'Connell spearheaded research by analyzing dead bodies and utilizing photography to catch its structure, we didn't realize that a clitoris could go from 5 to 12 centimeters and swell by 50 to 300 percent when engorged. We didn't have a clue how the clitoris communicated with the front dividers of the vagina or that it could be animated by vaginal infiltration. But, these discoveries have still not advanced into standard training. The minimization and disregard of ladies' pleasure are brought about by a profound imbalance between the genders. This is additionally at the base of female genital mutilation, FGM. There are different kinds of FGM, and they are on the whole vicious unsafe methodology that cut or harm a few or the entirety of the female genitalia. FGM is transcendently acted in 30 nations across Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. It has been performed on around 200 million young ladies and ladies. Luckily, protection from FGM is developing. At the point when a 10-year-old Somalian young lady named Dika Dahir Nur kicked the bucket in 2018 after a vein was accidentally cut off during FGM, the nation's lawyer general sought after indictment without precedent for the nation's set of experiences. Moreover, Deputy Prime Minister Mahdi Mohamed Ghalade openly censured the act of FGM in Somalia. This was especially critical in a nation in which 98% of ladies have gone through the technique and 65% of ladies uphold the training. Chapter 5, Discussing the Female Climax Can Liberate It From Puzzles and Disregard For the creator, climaxes were enveloped with different cycles of disgrace for a large portion of her life. It began with being embarrassed about needing a climax. There was no conversation about the female climax or female masturbation at school. She started to try different things by contacting herself regardless of a female friend advising her young ladies who jerk off are wiped out. She kept on jerking off, however, 
she was unable to deal with a climax, this set off another motivation to feel embarrassed. At last, as she got more seasoned and effectively climaxed through clitoral incitement, she felt disgrace for being not able to accomplish what the world considered the right kind of climax, a vaginal climax. Heteroculture has established that the climaxes came to through penetrative sex are predominant, even though 50 to 75 percent of ladies can't climax exclusively through the entrance. This admiration of the vaginal climax is another wonderful and unsupported by science. Everything began with psychoanalyst Sigmund Freud. In the mid-20th century, he asserted that the clitoral climax was explicitly youthful, an indication of emotional well-being issues, while the vaginal climax showed sexual development. From that point forward, logical exploration has demonstrated that there are endless approaches to arrive at the climax. The clitoris can be animated external the glands, and various kinds of incitement produce various sorts of climaxes. Freud's interpretation of the female climax keeps on holding up because it dovetails conveniently with male-centric qualities. It emphasizes the penis during intercourse and organizes sex that is helpful for the hetero male climax. Thus, rather than absurdly arranging climaxes, we should zero in on shutting the climax hole. A significant 2017 examination in the U.S. indicated that explicitly dynamic, hetero ladies have fewer climaxes than some other segment. Just 65% report arriving at a climax during sex, contrasted, and 95% of hetero men and 86% of lesbian ladies. Hetero ladies' admission far more atrocious during easygoing experiences. A huge scope study indicated that lone 11% of North American female understudies climax during a hookup. Numerous ladies feel more good coordinating their accomplices when they're seeing someone. This may clarify the social presumption that ladies are less inspired by easygoing sex. What they're uninterested in is subpar sex. Since the investigation of female sexuality has been disregarded for such a long time, it's no big surprise that the female climax is so confounding. Be that as it may, monitoring its numerous appearances and discussing it can assist ladies with shutting the climax hole. Chapter 6, Individuals with Vaginas Bear Superfluous Disgrace and Enduring Brought About by No-No, Obliviousness, and Oversight. In 2017, the UK's National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, or NICE, officially proclaimed that specialists must tune into ladies who have manifestations of endometriosis. Endometriosis is a horrifying sickness where tissue like the endometrium, which lines the uterus, becomes outside of the belly. Consistently that a lady isn't pregnant, the tissue drains, causing her persistent torment. The actual enduring brought about by endometriosis can wreck a lady's life. It can influence her profession and her connections. It can likewise cause sorrow and nervousness. Whenever left untreated, her organs can get melded and cause fruitlessness. But then, as featured by the warning considered vital by NICE, ladies' torment frequently isn't paid attention to. It takes a normal of 7 to 8 years to be determined to have endometriosis. During the 1970s and 80s, S.A.'s Tillery Mantle was met with doubt while attempting to get treatment for her endometriosis. She later discovered that course readings depicted endometriosis patients as white, working-class vocation ladies in their 30s who were restless fuss budgets. According to Mantle, they were seen as knowledgeable bothers however were even bound to get right analyzes than less special ladies. Ladies are bound to be viewed as insane than genuinely in torment. As per information from the US and Europe, ladies stand by longer than men accomplish for treatment in the ER and regularly get remedies for tranquilizers instead of torment drugs. This high-handed mentality toward ladies enduring did not depend on any science. We don't have information contrasting ladies' and men's responses with torment. Ladies additionally endure sincerely at the command of a culture that expects to persuade them that their vulvas are defective. For instance, a bare vulva is presently completely standardized in the West because of turning into the norm in erotic entertainment. 
half of all ladies in the UK under 35 consistently get waxed, eliminating all or a large portion of their pubic hair. The creator isn't completely persuaded that the evacuation of pubic hair is the most squeezing women's activist tissue. Labioplasty, then again, is a considerably more extraordinary measure taken to dispense with apparent imperfections in one's vulva. It includes the change of the internal labia, normally to manage its length, and is the quickest developing kind of plastic medical procedure. Vulvas are considered so untouchable and private that it's bizarre to see them outside of pornography. This has implied that ages of ladies and men have grown up with imperfect thoughts of what comprises an ordinary, alluring vulva. Chapter 7 Life will improve for the very nearly 2 billion individuals who discharge on the off chance that we tackle the shame around periods. For some, young ladies, getting their period unexpectedly is a pointlessly horrendous encounter. In 2017, one out of four young ladies in the UK felt caught off guard for the beginning of their period while one out of seven didn't have the foggiest idea what was befalling them. Indeed, even young ladies who are arranged and educated are regularly disturbed on the first occasion when they bleed. In any case, perhaps a young lady's first period feels particularly appalling since it speaks to an acceptance into a culture limited by severe sex jobs. It denotes the loss of blamelessness and the start of being viewed as a sexual article or a vessel for conveying infants. A period occurs after the endometrium thickens in the belly and doesn't get a treated egg. At that point, it sheds and is removed through the vagina. There are a lot of organic reasons why periods are viewed as ghastly. They're grisly, untidy, and regularly excruciating undertakings. Numerous ladies experience cramps during their periods as the strong mass of the uterus powerfully agreements to shed its coating. This may briefly remove the blood gracefully to the belly. The agony is brought about by tissues in the belly delivering synthetics because of the absence of oxygen. Most ladies additionally experience the ill effects of a premenstrual condition or PMS. Manifestations incorporate swelling, state of mind swings, and gloom. Besides, 5 to 8% of ladies experience the ill effects of the premenstrual dysphoric problem, or PMDD, which causes more outrageous nervousness, sadness, and torpidity. The mystery and disgrace encompassing periods without a doubt strength and languishing. A few networks in Nepal, for instance, actually buy into the old Hindu conviction that discharging ladies are harmful and will harm food and slaughter crops. So when ladies in this network have their periods, they are expelled to hovels. This custom is perilous, and there have been numerous reports of assault and demise. One lady kicked the bucket from suffocation in the wake of lighting a fire to keep warm. Another kicked the bucket after a harmful snake chomped her. At the point when destitution is joined with periods, ladies face much more prominent troubles. Also, the time of destitution is broad. In 2017, a cause in Leeds detailed that young ladies were missing school since they couldn't bear the cost of sterile cushions and tampons. In 2015, a Kenyan report found that 10% of the 15-year-old young ladies addressed by scientists occupied with prostitution to have the option to bear the cost of clean cushions. At the point when individuals are more open about periods, and more ladies and individuals who have periods are in places of intensity, more work will probably be done to facilitate their natural distress. Chapter 8 the current discussion encompassing richness and pregnancy sabotages ladies. On the off chance that you've ever taken hormonal contraception, you're presumably acquainted with the conceivable results. Weight gain, despondency, a diminished charisma, the chance of growing possibly dangerous blood clumps, and an improved probability of getting bosom malignant growth are just a portion of the things that may anticipate you if you decide to take it. Yet, at times, it can feel like there's a sorry decision. All things considered, the main types of male contraception that at present exist are condoms, which most couples in long-haul connections incline toward not to utilize, or vasectomies. These are intended to be lasting and are just fitting for men who don't need youngsters later on. 
hormonal contraception is as of now just accessible to ladies. There have been various medication preliminaries for male hormonal contraception, yet they've been consistently stopped. Why? Since men griped about the results, similar results routinely experienced by ladies around the globe. Like contraception, the conversation around richness is unreasonably centered around ladies. Numerous ladies do stress over putting off pregnancy, notwithstanding financial variables and the expense of childcare driving individuals to defer parenthood. In any case, richness is mind-boggling. It's not just about a lady's natural clock. Truth be told, for half of all couples who experience barrenness irrelevant to age, the reason is strange semen quality or male sexual brokenness. Sperm tally is falling around the world. Not exclusively do we not know why however this fundamental actuality additionally isn't basic information. This reality annoys the male inner self and the possibility of male virility, so male fruitlessness is off-limits. Pregnancy has likewise been leveled into a standard story. Until her companions began having kids, the creator hadn't heard any itemized pregnancy or birthing stories. She was shocked to learn exactly how much pregnancy and labor encounters shift from lady to lady. Hearing a scope of birth stories can assist individuals with envisioning the things that may occur during work. For instance, some of the time an episiotomy is important. That is the point at which a cut is made in the perineum, the zone of skin and muscle between the vagina and rear end. Even though they're not generally fundamental and can have genuine ramifications on ladies' well-being, episiotomies are once in a while performed without discussion or assent from the individual in labor. To evade circumstances like this, it very well may be useful to make a birth arrangement. This diagrams the particular needs of a lady, trans, or non-double individual during labor, which can give certainty and self-governance. Chapter 9 the discussion about ladies' sexual well-being must be comprehensive surprisingly with vaginas. An ongoing report found that a fourth of ladies have considered finding employment elsewhere because of menopausal indications. Is menopause that awful? Sufficiently awful to leave your place of employment? For certain ladies, it tends to be. Combined with ageism, sexism, and an absence of conversation. Numerous ladies feel unsupported and humiliated in the working environment. Consider the way that, as ladies age, we hear their accounts less frequently. This implies that we infrequently find out about menopause by any means, so what is menopause, other than the finish of the period and the start of hot blazes? Menopause is the point at which a lady hasn't been discharged for 12 successive months. Yet, we utilize the term menopausal to allude to any time a lady shows manifestations, frequently for quite a long time previously, then after the fact. Ladies for the most part quit bleeding in their 40s and 50s. It's unexpected, in some cases it's more progressive. However, that is not the entire story. After menopause, a lady's ovaries quit delivering progesterone and estrogen. These hormones are rather created at lower levels in different territories of the body, which can bring about the vulva, urethra, and vagina getting fundamentally drier. This regularly causes gloom and low confidence. Hot blazes are the trademark indication of menopause. These are spells of perspiring and wooziness that can last a couple of moments or more. Different indications incorporate diminished or missing sex drive, sleep deprivation, memory issues, bushy skin, skin breakout, repeating cystitis, UTIs, tension, alarm assaults, and the sky is the limit from there. 8 out of 10 ladies experience some menopausal manifestations, while 25% of ladies have extreme side effects. Besides, 33% of ladies don't go to their primary care physicians to treat these manifestations, a considerable lot of which become persistent. All things being equal, they endure peacefully, maybe because they don't believe that their torment will be paid attention to. Alongside menopausal ladies, the encounters of trans individuals are likewise frequently eradicated. 
cis individuals now and then erroneously accept that trans individuals either have or plan to have sexual orientation affirmation medical procedure. Yet, sexual orientation dysphoria influences distinctive trans individuals in an unexpected way. One U.S. study demonstrated that 14% of trans ladies and 72% of trans men in the U.S. don't need full sexual orientation affirmation medical procedure. Some trans individuals will just restoratively change, and some will choose the top medical procedure however not the base. These are profoundly close to home decisions. We should recollect that not all young ladies and ladies have a vagina and not every person with a vagina is a young lady or a lady. Severe sex jobs strap us in our science, limit our encounters, and hold us all back. A reschooling of sexual and conceptive well-being must recognize that we are more than our privates and our sex. Vagina, a re-education by Lynn Enright Book Review Great sex schooling is sympathetic and complex. It shows under studies about contraception as well as about connections and ladies' sexual delight. The hymen isn't a seal, it's comprised of slim folds of mucus layer, and the clitoris is significantly broader than was once suspected. Sharing our encounters can help us reshow one another and enable us to handle the disgrace and disgrace encompassing periods, climaxes, ripeness, and menopause.